Hey guys, this is Lindsay from Paper Hearts Planner Co. And today I'm going to show you how to use our digital expansion packs. Our expansion packs are really easy to use because they're basically just really large full page stickers. But today I'm going to show you exactly how to import them into your planner. Today I'm going to be using our dated expansion packs and importing them into our digital home planner that is undated. So this is a way that you can take an undated planner and make it dated. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this in our digital home planner. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the expansion pack to your, the files app of your iPad. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and do that. And then you're going to open it. And to do that, I'm going to just go ahead and split my screen. And then I'm going to go to my iCloud drive and I'm going to open the dated calendar expansion pack. Now this is for 2021, we also have 2022, and I'm going to add this to my October undated calendar. So I want to put the dated pages on both of these pages here. In the expansion pack, we give you the option for the portrait version of the dated calendar. So you can have the whole calendar on one page if you're using the portrait version of the planner. And then we also give you the two pages for the landscape version of the planner. So we're going to add these two pages to this planner. So to do this, there's a couple different ways. The first thing you can do is just drag and drop them over onto your planner. And then resize them by expanding the image. And that's it. That's a super easy way to make your undated planner now a dated planner. And that was all that you had to do to add the expansion pack in there. Now, if your um, iPad is older and you don't have the option to split screen, there's a different way you can do it. So let's go ahead and let me show you that. You're going to go to your Files app and you're going to select the pages that you want to add. So I'm going to select October 1 and 2. And then I'm going to share them and save the two images. Then I'm going to go back to my planner in GoodNotes. I'm going to delete these. And if I look right up here, I can see where I save those two images. So I can open them from my images and import them the same exact way. Resize them just a little bit. And you can line them up with your pages. And that's it. That's a simple and easy way that you can add our dated expansion pack, pack to your planner. Now let's talk about how that you do this in NoteShelf because you can use NoteShelf on an iPad as well. So I'm going to open NoteShelf and I want to add those same two images to this undated planner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here to the plus button and go to photos and then I'm going to photo library, all photos, and select those two images that I want to add. I'm going to pull this over here and pull this one over here and then resize them. Resizing them is not as easy in Dope Shelf as it is in Good Notes because the lines go away, but it's definitely doable. Whoops. And there we go. That is how you import them into your Note Shelf app. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know.